There is such a thing as luck or fortune, and it begins at birth. If you are born to a financially stable environment with two loving parents and a welcoming community, you are lucky. If you are born into a financially, emotionally, and psychologically unstable environment where your parents just happen to be crack house roommates, <laughs> you are unlucky. There is no way around that. Now, I am not saying that unlucky people cannot become lucky, but here's what they don't tell you. You have to be reasonably good looking. <laughs> Beautiful plus money equals lucky. Poor plus ugly equals unlucky. Now, here's the gray area. Ugly plus money. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's how people like Rod Stewart have sex. <laughs> Now, I know what you're saying. You're all sitting there going, but Steve, look at you. You're beautiful. <laughs> And you're a Canadian comedian, so you're filthy rich. <laughs> What do you know about bad luck? That's a good question. My main claim to bad luck is technology. I am technically cursed. I have an inexplicable power over powered items to make them completely powerless. I went and I used to be a PC guy for a long time and then I bought a Mac. I got my Mac and it didn't work. Out of the box, it did not work. It turned on, that was nice, it made that little And then I tried to insert a CD into it and it wouldn't take it. My Mac wouldn't read the CD or DVDs, it just spit it out like a kid that doesn't want his food. Just... Anyway, so then, I had to go into a Mac store to get my Mac treated by a Mac genius. <laughs> I don't know if you know who Mac geniuses are. They are young people that work at Mac stores and their screening is a little different for geniuses in the Mac world. <laughs> hey, teenager, can you wear this T-shirt? Yes, you're a genius. <laughs> I tried to tell him my problem. I said, uh, hey, genius. My computer is not working. I can't even put DVDs into my Mac. And he answered in the way that only an infallible teenager prick can answer. He said, you're probably just not doing it right. So he tries it and it doesn't work. And then he says the sentence that has now become sort of a mantra to me with technology. He goes, uh, that's weird. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Now, if someone that should know something says that sentence to you, I've never seen that before, you're about to go through something very unlucky. <laughs> if you go to the doctor and the doctor's doing a routine examination <laughs> and he's behind you and he said, I've never seen that before. <laughs> You are in for some unwelcome exploratory probing, at the very least, yes? <laughs> anyway, the Mac genius tells me what we're going to have to do is we are going to have to uh, update your software. And I said, that's weird, genius, because I bought the computer this week. <laughs> so for your software to be more current, it literally has to be from the future. <laughs> And if I wanted something from the future, I would go to Future Shop, yes? <laughs> Sorry.